Presidente Toir, benvenuto, grazie per essere con noi, welcome President. Buonasera. Oh, in Italian, sì sì, eh? buonasera, è facile. Allora, sta per iniziare fra, qualche, fra un mese la nuova stagione, quali sono gli obiettivi di questa stagione per l'Inter, sia in campo che fuori campo? A new season is about to start, and what are the targets for Inter uh, for this season, both on pitch and off pitch? I believe this is the first true season for Mancini and also for some of the new management. <clears throat> we want to make sure that we build strong management of the pits and also on the sporting sides on the pits. On the management side, we have a management meeting the last couple of days. We spend two days to know each other. But the most important also that the team believe on the projects. We have a business plan, we have a strategy for five years. And then we believe that with all this new management, strong, we believe we can get what we want to achieve, which is come back the top 10 football team in terms of the revenue in 2019. And then on the sporting side of the pits, not only last year we were have a chance to bring Mancini back, which is, as you know, we believe in his track record. At the same time, on the summer window, I believe that we believe we built a strong team to compete for Champions League. We want to be in Champions League. If you look at on the defense sides, a lot of question that last year we have an opportunity, but we, some people say our defense is not strong enough. At this moment, we have four to six players can play in central defender. We bring Miranda, we bring Murillo, which is Miranda was one of the best players in defender in the last two years. Murillo just achieved as one or maybe the best young football players in CONCACAF, Condobia. This is, will be our stars of the futures. Of course, he has to prove it. <laughs> we believe in the number that we spend on him. Colombia will make a difference on the midfield. With the help of Guarin, Medel, Brojovic, Kovacic, and also Nyokuri, our Primavera, which is play well in the last game with AC Milan. This is a strong midfield that we built. On the forward sides, not only we extend Icardi contract, we still have Palacio. And now, in the next couple of days, if Jovetic will pass to the medical test, he, the one, also will be strengthening our team on the attack side. There is a few players we want to see, but of course, the market still another 30, 40 days. At the same time, we cannot play with so many players at this moment. Because by regulations, we only, allow, we only allow to have 25 players. This has changed all the players to show to us, to the fans, that they have to compete and they have to deliver what our target is, which is we going want to back on the Champions League. Ha parlato di tifosi e parliamo proprio di tifosi. Eh, abbiamo visto in questo tour in Cina ehm, quanti siano e quanto siano appassionati eh, dell'Inter e è sorpreso da vedere così tanta passione per l'Inter in giro per, per il mondo e come ha notato le, le loro reazioni a, alla presenza dell'Inter qua? Very good question, I'm not surprised, I'm one of the fans based in Asia before, before as a president of Inter at this moment. A number of fans in Asia is one of the biggest number that we have globally. More than 100 million, around 150 in Asia. Especially China, the last number is incredible. We grow from the last couple of years. We still the number f top five teams in China that our fans following compared to also to the other teams. This is a strong position. 
It's important that we build also our fence globally, not only in China, but also in part of the world, like in the United States. But the most important, I think Italian fence is the heart and soul of our fence. The Italian fence is the one who create the emotional through the world. And it's important between the Italian fans also engage with the other fans globally to social media. That's why we building our social media at this moment to connect between the fans, to connect the fans with the players. At the same time, to connect the management to the fans. Then every, when everybody connected, then we all can be the part of the family of Inter. It's about time Inter can be consistent also in globally to grow our fans. We have a strong fundamental in Italy. Now is the time with the new directions as a global club, top 10 club in the world as a brand. We have to reach our fans globally. E proprio riguardo a questo so che sta uh, lavorando per portare i contenuti per portare l'Inter sempre più ai tifosi nel mondo, ad esempio in Indonesia, ma non solo, ci può dire qualcosa di più. This is one of the strategy that we need to fill our fans. Not only from digital side, social media, website, Twitter. As a channel, we have to also give a lot of contents to our fans globally. At this moment, we look Indonesia as an opportunity. After Indonesia, might be China. So we will and we want to bring interchannel to Indonesia soon. Hopefully, no longer than this year. But of course, it's important when we bring interchannel to Indonesia, we understand also what the fans want in interchannel in Indonesia. So they can have continued connections with Inter, as I mentioned before, as Inter family. Com'è cambiata la sua giornata di lavoro da quando è diventato presidente dell'Inter? Perché sembra che dedichi molto più tempo all'Inter rispetto alle altre attività. È vero questo? This is the second year I'm joining the tour, the whole tour. I spend time on this tour to know deeper my team, not only the manager, the players, and also the management. We've done this one last year in Washington, and I'm committing to do the same thing for the next tour. And then if you look at my traveling times, I almost spend once a month in Milan. If you ask me how, how many percent of my times, it's a lot. <laughs> I wouldn't say how many hours a day, but I really spend a lot of time for Inter. Because what the belief of Mr. Moratti, what the belief of our fans, what the belief of the management have given to me as a president, this is not, again, I keep saying in the last two years, it's not the glamorous time, uh, the glamorous side I look. But actually, I really want to show that we're working hard, we want to deliver what we want. You know? I mean, of course, I can't deny being a person of Inter. I'm being recognized in many places. But again, not because of that. As a person of Inter, it's an obligation. It's an honor. But at the same time, I have to do the work. And the last two years, I will say, is up and down. But I strong believe if we can be consistent to what we believe, we're going to reach our goal. Siamo alla fine, le chiedo un saluto, cosa vogliamo dire agli amici che ci stanno seguendo. We built a strong team this season. Please support Roberto Mancini. Please support the team. Make our San Siro as our home. Either they play good and bad, support them. Especially this season, we bring a lot of new players. We have to give a time for our, our young players also to grow. And make, once again, 
San Siro as our home. So our team can feel when the supporters around in San Siro will be the 12 players. Please. Allora, Presidente, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Forza Inter.